Hi, in this video we're going to have a quick look at EPs or estimated position. So the idea is that we've travelled for a certain amount of time. Um, so between here we can see at 10 o'clock we fixed our position and we read our log on the boat and it said 3.6 nautical miles at 11 o'clock one hour later it said 9.3 the difference being 5.7 that means our hourly run was 5.7 nautical miles during that time we steered a magnetic course of 275 degrees we had a variation of 6 degrees west which means our actual true course was 269. We were close to Tidal Diamond K and we looked at that then um, and, and we were two hours before high water on the day in question. I've already looked up the tidal uh, stream and rates for two hours before and that was 119 degrees and 2.9 knots or 1.5 knots we were right next to a red date in our calendar so that means it was springs so i'm going to go with the larger one 2.9 okay hi we're just having a look at this estimate estimated position again that we're doing there's our information that we looked at a moment ago. So, here's my fix for 10 o'clock. And if you remember, we did 269. So, let's put 269 onto my plotter. There it is. That's the course we steered. True, we only mark true lines onto our charts. And we did somewhere along that line. We then, if you remember, we did 5.7 nautical miles. So I'm measuring out 5.7 miles, that's what our log read. And we can pop that onto there. And this is what we call our dead reckoned position. I hope this looks right, I'm writing upside down. Okay, our dead reckoned position for three for eleven o'clock. Thing is though. The tide, if you remember, I'd already looked it up, is going that way. So we're probably going to be a lot nearer to this island than we really want to be. So the tide was 119. There we go. Let's pop that onto there. And let's draw a line. Okay. And the tide was going at 2.9 knots. So coming back over to our um, thing. So there's the line I've just drawn in case we can't see it too well. Let's just zoom in a little bit. There's the line I've just drawn. There it is, so that's my 119, okay, and I'm just going to measure out 2.9 knots on my dividers. Here it is, 2.9 miles, so the tides pushed us that way, 2.9, which means we are actually, at 11 o'clock, more likely to be down here, so that is our 11 o'clock estimated position we put three arrows on the tidal vector we put one arrow on the course that we've steered our actual track over the ground has been that 
in that hour okay if you want to know what your exact actual track over the ground is we could put our dividers on there let's draw a proper line rather than just a, a guess and then a line my north south up okay I put my divider my plotter the wrong way around there we are let's turn it around line my north south up and we can read it off there and that's two refocus doesn't like the plotter and that is two four six okay so our actual course over the ground was two four six course over ground cog and that was two four six okay Hope that helps a little bit with EP's estimated position.